Starting off this hour is going to be Fred in Fort Worth, Texas. Hey, Fred, welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. Hey, how you doing? Better than I deserve. How can I help? Yes, um, my question today is when do you stop paying minimum payments on credit cards? Well, I wouldn't. I would pay more than minimum payments because I want to get rid of the debt. I'm confused. Okay, right, what? correct. But when, when you're trying to, we're, we're trying to sell our home. We've shut down our business. We're trying to sell our home to take care of a big hunk of that. But at this point, without the business income, paying those minimums are next to impossible. And... All right. So you're you. When I talk to the, so you sold your business. I didn't sell it. I liquidated it. Okay. All right. So you don't have an income. When? Well, are you, when I have an income, but not from the business. Okay. What is your income? Sixty. Okay. And does your wife work outside the home? No. Okay. How many children do you have? Three. All right. And um, how many hours a week are you working? About forty. Okay. What did you used to make with your old business? Oh, nothing. Um, you clo- you closed it because it wasn't going well. Correct. Okay. Correct. I'm catching up. All right. And um, all right. And how much is your house payment? It's actually with, with everything. It's about with taxes and insurance. It's around a thousand. Okay. And how much credit card debt do you have? Uh, about ninety five. Okay. And you're going to get that much out of the equipment and things you're selling from the business. No, that, that's that's what's left over, and we hope to get about half of that from our the sale of our house. Oh, from the sale of your house. That's what you said. Correct. Okay, all right. So the house is up for sale. Um, and wh- where are you moving? Um, about an hour away to, to where my job is. Oh, okay. Good. Okay. All right. Well, that makes sense. All of that's logical. Good. And how much other debt other than 90000 on credit cards do you have? Uh, we've got a car payment and a house. How much do you owe? Oh, you have a different house? Or no, just the same this house. One? Okay, all right. We have about ninety-five left how much, on the house. How much do you owe on Nine, your car? Ninety-five. How much do you owe on your car? Fifteen. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. Well, here, let's walk you through this. What we teach people when they're in a financial crisis, which is what you're hopefully temporarily are facing. Because hopefully, when you get this house sold and you knock off forty-five thousand of your hundred and five thousand or hundred and ten thousand dollars worth of debt, which includes your car being paid off, okay, we're we're going to pay off the car and then we're going to work our way through the credit cards with the money from the house sale. When that happens, I think your budget's going to balance, and you do too, right? I hope so. Yes. Yeah. Well, I think it's going to. The math math is there. Now, um, and of course, that depends on what you pay in rent when you move to the other area. But uh, um, so we, we teach folks when they're in a financial crisis is we do what we call the four walls, meaning protect your home. The four walls of your home must be protected before you do anything else. And the four walls of your home are if you're in seventh grade, they te- used to teach a thing called civics class. And civics class talks about the de- difference in needs and wants. And the four walls are your needs. OK, and necessities. So to start with, we buy food. And I want you to do a written budget with your wife because she's scared. And, and you're, you're scared and worried, too. So the written budget, you have enough coming in. If you don't do anything else, you can buy food, right? Right. Okay. And then the second thing I want you to do is I want you to keep the lights and water on. And if you have food and lights and water, we're in good shape, right? Okay. And you can, you can do those, too. I know you can. With the money you're right. talking about, easy. And, and then I want you to pay the house payment. Until it sells, because okay. you got to live there. So you got food, shelter, clothing. And you don't probably don't need much clothing. You probably have enough that'll last for a little while. We're not talking about doing this for two years. We're talking about doing this for two months while this house sells, right? Right. Okay. So we're probably going to have a very limited clothing budget. Use what's there. Uh, we don't need to be going clothes shopping. But if we got a kid that's you know outgrown everything in sight, you may have to move up a little bit. But we're going to be very, very conservative on clothing. So food, shelter, clothing, transportation. Let's go ahead and pay the car payment. Okay. okay. Now, if you don't do anything but pay those things, you're going to be all right. And I'm positive with the numbers you gave me, you can do all of those things. 
You Correct. keep the house current, the lights and water on, food, basic clothing, and car payment and car and gas in the car to go to work. You Correct. can do those. The credit cards then don't get paid anything, possibly. But if you can find some more money in a written budget, we're going to pay some of those. Okay. And here's the ones I would pay. I would pay the ones that you are not going to pay off when your house sells, which is the largest ones. Balance wise. Okay. Gotcha. So you're going to list your debts smallest to largest. When the house sells, I'm going to pay your car off and then I'm going to pay down those credit cards right down the list, smallest to largest. And that means the first $30,000 of small credit card bills are going to be the ones that are paid when the house sells. If anything's going to get behind, I'm going to let those get behind. Okay. But my question on paying the credit cards is the, you know, I, I've communicated with a few of the credit card companies, and they're like, well, we can't negotiate anything because they don't care. you're up to date. Yeah, they don't care. So my question was, should I go ahead and not pay them? No. The only way you're going to get them to negotiate deeply is you're going to destroy your credit. And, you know, you're going to not pay for six months or a year. And that's not what we're talking about here. Okay. The house is up for sale, right? Correct. And how long has it been on the market? It's been on for about three months. Okay. You probably need to look at that. Fort Worth market's not that slow. Yeah. It is, well, it's, we're, we're trying to get top dollar just be, because, you know, to help us out. But that's, yeah. But let, let's we have been reducing it. Yeah. But you're, you know, you're, you're. You're in the middle of a stressful situation, and you got this long commute. So you want, you want to get closure on this chapter that's a bad chapter. We want to get it behind us and move on. So if that costs you five grand, so what? Get it behind you, close it up, move on. And I don't want you to give it away, but top dollar sounds like it's overpriced because the Fort Worth market's hot enough it should have sold within three months. All right. And I bet your realtor's telling you that. Am I right? Um, well, she she thinks we can get the price we're asking for it. So okay, I think she's blowing. Right. I think she's blowing in your ear. Um, hey, have you been through Financial Peace University? We have not. Okay, I want you and your wife to go through that as my guest. I'm going to pay for it. Okay. Thank you. I've been right where you are. I remember being scared and beat up. You're going to be better off than you think you are. You've learned some lessons through this. They're tough lessons, but they're thorough lessons. You take care of your family first, brother. Then you worry about the stupid credit cards, and you'll get to them. You'll get it all worked through. A year from now, it's going to be a bad memory. Hold on. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest content and check out these other great clips from the show.